Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Morgan and I am the professor for our U.S.-Mexico border history class this semester. Um, I apologize, I'm getting over a little bit of a sickness, so hopefully my videos will uh, be a little clearer from this uh, point on. Um, just to introduce uh, myself and who I am, um, I live with my family in Rio Rancho. Um, as you could read elsewhere, I earned a PhD in uh, Latin American and Borderlands history in 2013. I've been teaching at Western New Mexico University online, um, off and on, more on, fortunately, than off, um, since 2014. My full-time job is at Central New Mexico Community College here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, so I, I may have just said that I live in Rio Rancho um, with my family. So it's right next to Albuquerque, for those of you that are not uh, familiar with this area. Um, I'm interested to know where all of you are at. Um, it's always really cool to see where, um, where we're all working from. Um, it's usually around the southwest, uh, but there have been some exceptions. Um, so again, I'm looking forward to, to getting to know each of you um, in that way. Let's see. In... Uh, Try to see what else I was going to share with you. Um, in terms of uh, things that I've been interested in lately, um, I have been fortunate enough to work with the brewing program at CNM at the community college uh, to teach a beer history class, and so I've become a little more interested in craft beer, um, enjoying a lot of the breweries around Albuquerque. We have 30 or so now. It's uh, really taken off and has been booming. Um, I really enjoy spending time with my family, lots of great hiking around, and we've been trying to uh, do a bit more of that. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear the background noise, but my son's 3D printer is running right now, um, so he's had a lot of fun with that. My kids go to a bilingual charter school, um, so I try to speak Spanish with them as, as much as I can uh, for them to practice and uh, to get some reading in and so on. Um, so that's just a, a little bit about me. Um, in terms of a kindness, a moment of kindness that I experienced while uh, learning online, um, as a student, I actually never took um, online classes. Mine were all face-to-face -face during my uh, bachelor's, master's, and PhD program. Um, but in order to certify to teach online at CNM, um, I had to take an online class. So you have to learn about teaching online through an online class as a student. I think that's actually a really good method because that was my first experience with that. Um, and I actually completely forgot about the class. So hopefully none of you will have this experience uh, with our class. Um, it was a summer class. It was near the 4th of July when it started. And so I just, I really just forgot about it until about um, a week and a half in. And so I was able to check in with the instructor uh, who's very understanding um, very kind about helping me get things started when I was confused about the start date and had just uh, not remembered what I was doing. Um, I've also really appreciated uh, kindness from people I work with when, um, when life intervenes. And I, I've mentioned this a couple of places in the course, but I realize that as we're in college, we're all coming from different backgrounds. Um, very few of us are the quote-unquote traditional student anymore. <laughs> And we have families, we have jobs, we have things that we're working with. And so we have sicknesses. I mean, and I've got the sniffles right now. So uh, sometimes we just need a minute. And it's really helpful, I think, uh, for our learning, for our uh, capacity for growth as humans, um, when we remember to show that kindness to one another. So I'm looking forward to hearing about your moments of uh, experiencing kindness uh, whether online, in online learning uh, contexts or not. And uh, I look forward to learning from your insights on the history of the U.S.-Mexico border over the next term.